everyone, it's Julie. So guess what? I am going to Ireland today and I've got a pack. I leave in about an hour and 45 minutes, so I gotta get going. You know me, I tend to do this a lot, but I think I work well under pressure. Ireland right now um, is a little bit on the colder side. It's the upper 30s to the mid 50s. And, you know, I'm challenged a little bit living in Arizona with needing warm weather clothes. So I'm going to need some warm weather clothes, some jackets, um, clothes that will withstand the rain because Ireland is pretty wet. I'm going to spend a couple days in Dublin and then I'm going to travel along the countryside, check out some castles, seaside villages, and so on. So I really want to be prepared. But I'm backpacking, so I can't have a lot of stuff and I definitely don't want a roller bag. Everything is going in that 40 liter backpack right there. So let me do some packing and um, show you how I happen to get all this junk in one backpack. First, um, some advice that I'll always give is bring a lot of mix and match stuff. Stuff that you can layer, stuff that goes together. So I tend to wear shades of gray, black, blue, and that's all you need. Everything really goes together. A couple sweaters in shades of gray, blue, navy, couple tanks or t-shirts, gray, striped, charcoal, and blue. And I tend to use um, these packing cubes and separate based on what side of the body I'm working with. So I'm gonna put all my tops together and how I pack is I tend to roll my clothing. Somehow I just feel like it's easier to grab and tell what it is that you're grabbing. So my bottoms, I've only got a couple because one, I'm wearing one right now that I'll wear, you know, every other day. I've got my shirt on now and my sports bra on now that I will wear on my flight, obviously, and I'll use this to sleep in, so I'm saving some packing space there. But when it comes to my bottoms, I'm bringing shorts. These are pajama shorts, or they're going to be, but they match everything, so there's that. I've got some um, kind of like workout, but like nice bluish um, pants, and I've got my black, loose, comfortable, wear with anything pants. Only a couple bottoms here, but don't worry, I'm only, I'm gonna be fine. I'm only gonna be there a week. Footwear I wanna talk about. These just kind of comfortable city walking boots. I'm packing these and I'm gonna wear my Las Sportivas. These are trail runners. They um, are good for like walking around cobblestones, rough, rough paths. And also I'm gonna do some hiking. So these are perfect for that. And I'm gonna break, wear these on the plane. So that's only two pairs of shoes. So, let me pack up my pants. Let's talk about my unmentionables, or let's not really talk about my unmentionables. Bringing one sports bra, one other pair of socks, and a couple pairs of underwear. Obviously, I have one of each of those on now. But since I'm packing laundry detergent and a stopper for the sink, I'm gonna be doing my own laundry. Luckily, all the things that I've brought, they're moisture wicking, they're, um, they dry fast. So if I need to do my own laundry, which I will because I brought detergent, then I'm handled and I can just rotate. So another thing that's important is outerwear. I am bringing a puffy jacket or puffy vest to layer both underneath my raincoat or we're on its own on one of those balmy days where it's above 50. Gloves, these have the fingers where you can use your cell phone, a knit hat, and a nice warm scarf. I just want to make sure that I'm warm because I learned this lesson in Paris in March where it was really cold, about the same temperature actually, and I had to go by. This is from France, pretty cool. Now I'm going to put everything in my I've got 
room in this little bag. I'm put my hat in there. This is my cosmetics toiletries case. It has everything that I need for a week. That's how you get everything you need for a week in a 40 liter carry-on backpack. Stick the scarf somewhere. Actually, I'm going to utilize the little side pockets. I'm going to carry this. Guess what? Matches pretty well. And I am good to go for Ireland. So excited. If you guys have been, please, please send me a message or leave me a comment with your favorite places. Literally, I have not booked a thing, so I'm totally open and I'm just gonna go with the flow. This is gonna be a really nice trip for me to reflect and process. My dad died last week, so I'm just gonna go and honor him and be thankful and show gratitude for the blessings that I've had in my life and do that in the name of my dad, who was an amazing, amazing man. So thank you so much for watching. I hope some of these tips have helped you or maybe inspired you to go ahead and go on a week long trip without planning anything. Just kidding, that's, that's a little much to ask. Please give me a shout out, subscribe, watch my next video, and um, of course, send me whatever messages you'd like. I love to get them. Talk to you soon, love you.